I'd like to show you a little bit of the detail of the scarab. If you go down and have a look at it here, you can actually see it's very small. But if you zoom in close, we actually have here what appears to be a possible peacock of some sort. You can kind of get a scale for the size. This is only a couple centimeters long. But you can actually see the tail, what is the head, and the legs of this particular uh, creature. Now we think that it, this is a peacock or a bird of some sort. But what is interesting is the mark above it that look kind of looks like a little T and then the marks down here. This is actually cuneiform writing uh, and we are going to have an expert uh, look at this and just figure out what this actually says. If you look on the other side you can actually see that it comes to a point it's shaped like a, a scarab beetle. Uh, these were very common in Egypt. They were um, used uh, after the, uh, the dung beetle god Kefri. And so these were often used for uh, describing uh, that which brought life. Give you a little bit of a closer view of it. can actually see on the ends there are holes where it would have been where it would have been held in a pendant or around a neck and so this is the find of the dig and we are now going to go back digging into our fire pit and we are going to try to uh, find more of this. I'm going to let you see the individual who found it. My digger, Destry Jackson. Hello. I'm Destry Jackson. I'm a second year master student at the University of Kansas. I'm from a little town in northwest Kansas called Norcater. I came on the dig with the group from Topeka, and this is the last day of the dig at Kerbet El Malkatir, and uh, yeah, found it. 